I have not made a video in like forever, but anyways, I'm back. Uh, I just found out last week, randomly, that the HP Prime has a new update. So when I opened the connectivity key, I noticed that there were some new updates and uh, I wanted to make a video about it. And when you open it, this is the first pop-up you get. So this, the first one is uh, G1, I believe, and the second one is obviously G2. And the update is from uh, it's from last month, so that's excellent. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, click OK on all of them, and uh, I have my uh, Prime G1 Revision C, as you can see here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and upgrade this. I'm just gonna pause this video because I'm doing this with one hand. I'm on uh, I'm doing I'm actually doing this uh, on my bed. Okay, all I did was uh, pause the video and uh, plug my phone into the computer. I didn't have to do anything else. And as soon as I, I plugged it in, I get this uh, second pop-up notification asking me to upgrade the firmware. And uh, let's see, update firmware. I, I believe this is the last one. This is from uh, December of 2021. Huh, that's interesting. I guess uh, I haven't done this in such a long time that I, don't, I, I can't remember the steps but I mean I do remember the steps but uh, I'm not quite sure what this is yeah this is definitely the old firmware so I guess I'm not gonna do that just yet so I'm gonna cancel okay so it's um it's downloading the uh, the exe file for uh, the setup file for the connectivity key itself which I'm probably not gonna install right now I'm gonna first upgrade the firmware and uh, I don't know why this is going so slow because my internet is really fast but I'm gonna pause the video and come back once this is over okay so the download is still going on but anyways I just wanted to point this out once again so the pop-up uh, we got or that I got uh, regarding uh, the update for the calculator was definitely uh, the old firmware as you can see it's already running on the December uh, 2nd of 2021 firmware and the new one uh, I downloaded it is uh, 2023 so April of 2023 so I'm about to see in a little bit so I guess I'm gonna pause this again because I don't want to make this video super long all right the download was over and it's asking me if I want to upgrade my connectivity key I'm not gonna do that just yet and uh, that's okay. You, you already, uh, you should have already downloaded the uh, firmware, the firmware for uh, both G1 and G2. So I'm just gonna close this and uh, open it again. And as you can see, I am now getting uh, the new uh, firmware. So 2023 April. And um, I don't really have anything important on this calculator, so I don't need to make a backup. Even though it is uh, recommended that you do that, because you might lose your data. But um, I don't need to do that, so I'm just gonna click on updates, and uh, the process is uh, fairly quick. It's uh, really really quick. The flash, the flash storage on the uh, HP Prime is uh, fairly fast, and uh, the whole thing shouldn't take more than a, more than a minute or two. Okay, so I'm not gonna pause this process. I wanna keep it running so you can have uh, an idea of uh, how long it's gonna take you exactly. And once again, for reference, this is uh, a G1 revision C. So, I believe it's time, it's time that uh, that we get a a new prime. I don't know if they're gonna make it again. If they're gonna make a new one, but uh, that would be definitely nice. So as you can see, the um the process was uh, fairly quick. So this is the last part, I believe, and uh, the loading screen is uh, you know. Like I said, it shouldn't take more than two minutes, and uh, the whole the whole process, yeah, definitely two minutes. That's not bad at all. So I might make a separate video depending on how uh, on how drastic the change the changes are. Okay, so everything is uh, done. So I'm gonna go to the settings and check the version. All right, we are definitely rocking the latest firmware. The CAS version is still the same, 1.50, and um, just the software that is different. 
in the operating system also, I believe. And uh, we have 2023, latest and greatest. And uh, so far, first impression, let's see if we got some new apps. Let's see that we still got a Python app, perhaps a upgraded version. Mm, but I'm not really seeing uh, anything, uh, anything new. I'm not seeing anything uh, different here. So as far as the apps, at least. Okay, so I guess I wanted I wanted to make this video no more than five minutes, but uh, since it's already running, we might as well just uh, just get involved. So let me go to uh, I'm doing this with one hand, so you gotta bear with me. <clears throat> okay, this is the cast settings. Everything seems the same so far. Let's check the home settings. Last update they had they had uh, some extra feature here, but this time around, font size was this a thing before? Huh. I guess I can make a comparison video. I have uh, a bunch of them now. I have a uh, I have I have five HP primes now. That's a lot. I actually thought that I had only four. I haven't I haven't used these calculators in a long time. So. When I picked this up and, uh, and decided to upgrade, I was surprised that I had five. I thought I had four. Intelligent math. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do a, a separate video that's gonna compare uh, this uh, new uh, operating system to uh, the previous ones. So we have not had uh, an, we, uh, we haven't had an upgrade for over a year, nearly two years, like a year and a half. So a year and five months to be precise, because the last the last operating system was from December of 2021, so we in May, June, so it's definitely a year and a half. And uh, color still, that's a nice feature. Configuration, everything's the same here, default angle. Yeah, I'm really not noticing any ch major changes so far, if any at all. But, uh, so I'm gonna stop the video now and uh, you know dive into it see if uh, there are any major uh, changes then uh, i might make a video about it if you have any questions just make sure you put in the comment section